Alright guys, I'm back. It has been about a little over two weeks since you guys have seen a video. It's been about three weeks since I've even recorded one. So I'll have a whole explanation for that in the next video that I upload. I'm going to do a sit down video and explain just everything that's going on in my life. I've had some really big things change here lately. Uh, like I said, I'm going to talk about that next video. So if you guys are interested to see why I haven't even recorded in three weeks, why I haven't posted in two, um, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for the next video. But you guys have been begging me for some freaking truck rating videos. So we are going to do that today. Um, I'm actually going to make this a very, very long video solely for the fact of I haven't posted a video in general in a while um, and I haven't posted a truck rating video in a while and the last one I posted I was like uh, I'm going to post two a week and I'm going to do five to ten per video and then like instantly died off after that so I'm going to probably start doing these as longer videos. I know like they're already like 20 to 25 minutes long. That's already pretty long, but I'm going to push for more like 30 to 40 minutes because really the only people watching these videos are the people that are sending their trucks in and they want to see them on video. They want to see me rate them. They want to see me roast them. Uh, these videos don't do very good with views. So I'm just going to go ahead and make them longer anyways. I try to stay away from long videos because people don't watch all the way through them and it hurts me. But the people that are wanting to see these videos, I'm going to make them longer for you guys. You guys obviously enjoy them, so let's jump right into it. Okay, so right here we have Jacked Up Myrtle on Instagram. He said he's been watching my channel for a while now. Uh, him and I have talked on Instagram, I do remember that, and I am following him on Instagram. But this is his truck. It is a 1998 Chevy Silverado K1500. It has a 6-inch Fabtech lift on it, 3-inch body lift, 37-inch Nitto Trail wraps, 18-inch Hilo rims, Anzo, Anzo USA headlights, mid-tuning C1 for Rothlight pod kit, eBay taillights and third brake light tow mirrors, Magnaflow muffler, LED lights up front since the last pits were taken. So we've got the rock lights. I see that. I like the colored rock lights on colored trucks. Um, but I also do like all white rock lights, so clean truck. I like that you did the bumper relocation since you did the body lift. This is the number one thing I see on these trucks that people do not do is relocate bumpers. They do a body lift and they do the typical freaking hee-haw shit from the woods and they put diamond plate there and it looks like ass. Uh, but he did not say that he wanted roasted, so we're just going to go for a rate. But I, I do like that... <laughs> You did the bumper relocation. Got some fender flares on there, I see. You see some window tint, got a whip antenna. Yee, hell yeah, brother. Uh, I like the color blue. It's very, I wouldn't say similar to my Ford, but it's in that sh like same shade range. It's not as gloss as mine, but it's that same shade of blue. I like it. So, Gonna hurry up and do this rate. I'm not gonna stick on trucks too long. Uh, I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten. Just I like it. It's lifted. Um, it's four wheel drive. It's a K, it's a K series, so it's four wheel drive. I like the color blue. Not a fan of the headlights. Not a fan of the rims. Uh, but besides that, I like everything else. So it'd be a perfect truck to go wheel in the woods with things like that. But I like your truck and keep it coming. So this one here, he says, hey, my, hey man, my name's Wes. I've got a 2004 Silverado 1500 with a 5.3 and a rival blue metallic. Not much done so far. Currently has some Edel alloy wheels wrapped in 33s, boost auto mirrors, auto saver 88 headlights, along with some 35% tint. Instagram is 04 cat eye. And looking at it, got the, the American flag on the back. I, I respect that. Where are you from? Minnesota? Minnesota, eh? God, Brandon can do that shit so good. Um, I do like those headlights. Again, I don't like the, the amber part in the side. It's like the like number one thing I don't like about headlights, and so many people feel the same way. But uh, it is four-wheel drive. I see the Z71 sticker on it. Um, I would definitely suggest some type of like leveling kit, small lift. Get you some meaty tires on there, and that thing will look good, especially with that American flag in the back. He said you don't have very much done to it. 
So I understand that. I like the color matched boost auto mirrors and the fog lights. They definitely give it a good look. Level those mirrors out, do a little leveling kit and some meaty like 33s or something. Uh, it'll change this whole truck. But besides that, I do like it. Like you said, you're just getting started out, so I'm guessing you're probably young. This is probably like your first truck. So keep it up, keep building it, keep enjoying it. I'm going to give it a, I'll give it another 7 out of 10, just like the last truck, just because super simple. Not a lot done to it, but it is clean. It's not like, doesn't look like it's been T-boned or anything like that. So yeah, keep it up. I like the truck. So this one right here is from Sean West. He said, hey man, I'm a fan of the channel and seeing you, seeing where you will be rating people's trucks. Here are a few of my Bronco. Would love to hear your feedback and opinion. Thanks. Okay, well, Sean, I only got one picture of the Bronco, but I do love it. Um, the front is a different color than the rest. Uh, I see some, I see some Bondo in there though. So I'm guessing you're doing some body work on it. What does it say on the front? Richland County something. Uh, but I like it. Definitely looks at like a woods rig. Uh, I love Broncos. One day I will own one. I swear on that. And I will own, it'll either be the, the 92 to 96 body style or it'll be an 80 to 86. I absolutely love Broncos. Well, I think 85 to 86, they only did bullnose Broncos. I think before that was the Bronco 2s. But like I said, I will own one one day. I absolutely love them. So I'm going to give you an 8 out of 10. Like I only said, I only got one picture. Can't go off a lot, but I love Broncos. So 8 out of 10. If you got it all matched one color, even like throw some welds on it, welds and bodders or welds and swampers. My God, it would be perfect. Second time in this video, we got someone that sent two emails. So this is going in at the end of the clip of when I rated this truck. So this is... A 1983 Ford Bronco I'd like to have roasted and rated. Previously sent an email but failed to include information on it. We know. <laughs> it has a six inch rough country lift on 35s. The trans is rebuilt with a shift kit. The motor is a 302 and has been rebuilt and recently put in a Lunati Voodoo cam and dual exhaust. I've never heard of Lunati before. Where the camera just stopped recording. I had the, the max amount of time. But. Lunati Cam, uh, dual exhaust with Summit Racing single chamber mufflers, similar to a Super 10. His Instagram is SeanW1996. He said there's sound clips, but I don't see him. So you've got this one of the same pictures of, as before and another picture where it looks like the front is primer gray. But still the same rating, just with some information on it now. So there, there's your information, guys. Go follow his Instagram. All right, and here we have Caleb Hughes. Don't have an Instagram or anything else with it. I just have two pictures, but I love it. Uh, I like that, that maroon red. I like the little sun visor. Um, if you had the, the chrome piece that went on the top and bottom in the drill, I feel like I would like that better. It kind of looks like it's just like missing something right there. It just goes chrome, black, chrome. Either do all black or do like chrome around the black. Uh, I like that. I like the wheels on it. I really like the machine and black wheels. God, I love that color. It's like a, a maroon red. I can tell like it looks like your clear coat's possibly fading on the back of the cab. Yeah, that, that's pinstriping. I can't tell in the picture. But I love the red. I love the red. I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. I don't have anything else to go over with it. But God, I, I love that color red on that truck. It looks so good. This is going to be added in to the end, I guess, after I did the truck rating of this current truck that you guys just saw, because I have to do this in editing. Caleb sent two emails, and I just now found the second one. So, we've got some info on the truck. It's a 1982 F-150. It has a 300 straight six, all LEDs in it, 20 by 10 motor metals, 2-inch wheel spacers, a bunch of motor work done. Insta is Caleb underscore dot hues you guys see on the screen but yes that was pinstriping that i saw so got the fucking eyes for that but it looks like those pieces that i was talking about that i said chrome looks like they're there but they're black so i'm guessing he went wanted like a full black center 
my personal opinion, but I think the chrome on the top and bottom and the black in the center look better. But hey, it's your truck. Just my opinion. Gotta be careful with your opinions in this day and age. People might get and like butt hurt and cut their dick off. Okay, and here we have a Blair Trammel. I actually went to elementary school with Blair, so it's crazy to see that he watches my videos now. Such a cool thing, I haven't seen him in, God, like 15 years. But this is his truck. Uh, don't have any information on it, but it says rate and roast. It's an 07 to 13 body style. I think he has it a six inch lift on it, so I'm guessing those are 35s. Super simple. The last picture isn't showing up on my end. So you guys have only seen a certain amount of pictures, but there's, what, five here? There's supposed to be five, and only four of them are showing up. Uh, but I like it. Getting it dirty in the snow. Uh, looks like he takes pretty good care of it. So I like it. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Super simple, clean. Doesn't have wheels sticking way out past the fender. You can't go through a drive through anywhere. Feels like you're pulling a trailer all the time. But it is still very functional. It's lifted. It's got some like all-terrain, hybrid, mud-terrain tires on it. So go off-road with it. I like it. 8 out of 10. Oh. Oh. I like it. Okay, so here we have a 2003 Silverado SS clone in the making. 5.3 FBO, G80 Posi Locker. Remote start SS wing, headlights were made myself, got the idea from your video. Hey, I like that. Uh, 22s on low pros and front and burners and back carbon are exhaust, tuned on 91 stage two shift kit, fuck yeah. HD hood and grill coming in next week. Second cat eye in the back will be shown later on with a smirk emoji. Okay, so I don't know what it is, but lately I have been Fucking loving lowered trucks. Okay, so like I'm, I'm gonna be straight up with you guys right now. I've like almost went and bought a single cab cat eye like four times in the last month because I want to slam one on the fucking ground and cam it and just build the shit out of the motor and just make that bitch like 500 horsepower, make it quick, have some fun with it, and then just sell it. Just simple as that, just sell it. But like, I really want to get like a single cab cat eye and just slam on the ground. So like when I saw this was lowered, he's got my headlight idea on the front, which I love it. I guarantee you this bitch on 22s front and rear all shined up, looks fucking clean. But yes, I love it. And it's like that fucking maroon of that bull nose earlier that I just, I loved. Okay, so I'm giving this one a nine out of 10 just cause like I'm in love with it. Um, if you had the 22s on the back, and had the the whole thing like cleaned up, maybe some like higher resolution pictures. Oh fuck, 10 out of 10 all day. But the, the burner's in the back and I only have two pictures, one's kind of dark and one I can't even see the whole truck. But besides that, really, really fucking like it. So we got a rate and roast here. It's a 2001 Ford F-150 two-wheel drive with a 4.6. Has Flowmaster 40s with turndowns. The first pick is when it was leveled with Rough Country 2-inch space in the front. The second pick was after he installed a 3-inch spindle left and blocks in the rear. So, we got the typical 99, or 97 to 03 F-150. Every kid in high school either owned or drove one. I can't tell what type of wheels those are, but I've definitely seen them before. Uh, definitely looks better with the two inch leveling kit, the three inch spindles and the blocks in the rear. Definitely looks better. Need some bigger tires on it. For sure. Got the roll pan in the back. I like, I can't tell if there's a gap there. If you filled that in, if you filled that in props, I, I like when people actually finish that shit. But I like it. Um, I think some offset wheels on this would set it off. It'd be good. Not the biggest fan of this body style truck. It's just really hard to make them look nice, but it's pretty clean. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Not too bad. Not too bad. So here we have a 2012 GMC Crew Cab Sierra 5.3 6 inch lift kit on 35s. His name is Mark Palmer. So I'm looking through these pictures. Oh, we only got two pictures. Okay. Four door. I like that. I like the four door just straight off the bat. And it's like the, the pearl white. 
that, that second picture with it in the parking lot with the light over top of it did it looks good like the rock lights on it um it's about it um seven and a half out of ten like we got two pictures minimal information i like it's crew cab i like gmc on to the next i'm like trying to fly through this shit guys i have over a hundred unread emails in this fucking email and every time I post one of these videos, I get like 15 to 20 more. And, you know, the bigger my channel grows, the more people are going to send them in. So I got to get to the point where I'm like knocking out like 20 to 30 trucks per video. Just I got to catch up sometime. Like, I'll tell you right now, this email I'm reading right now is from Sunday, February 14th. It's March 30th right now. So we've got an 08 Dodge Ram 1500 tool drive, got a four and a half inch lift spindle, true three inch leveling kit on top, rough country shocks, two inch drop shackles on the rear, got 22 by 12 fuel Titans on 33 inch X comps, got 0% all the way around. What the hell is 0%? You fucking spray paint the window? And 20 on the shield, dark, got four rocks in total. I don't know what you're collecting rocks. Uh, I think I'm funny sometimes. One in fender well, LEDs all the way around. Got axle dump exhaust, cat back straight pipe, no muffler, light bar and bumper, 15 or sub behind seat. Hold up. You got a single cap. How the fuck do you fit a 15 behind the seat? Got a wiper cowl, new style grill. Got a big bully dog hook as a tow hook in the... Who the fuck's at my house? Got a tow hook in the back, also got new black front and rear bumpers, did not paint them, smoked out taillights, and black housing headlights with clear lens. I put a pic of it when I first got it too. Love your channel, man. Keep up the hard work. Instagram, TC Raider, Snap, Tanner, Cooper, 55. Y'all go follow my man on Instagram and add the boy on Snap. Appreciate the love, man. Let's look at the truck. So we leaning, we leaning. You lean in? I kind of like it. I'm not the biggest fan of this body style Dodge, but I kind of like the single cab. Not too sharp. Ooh, damn, yeah. You came a long way with it, man. Came a long way. It was a Paul Paul truck when you got it. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Fuck yes, I like it. I'm not a big fan of squat, so like, I mean, that's your taste, but that's a squat. I like it. I would like if it was leveled. Some fat offset. And if it had a fucking Cummins in it, straight up, like, single cab, wide, Cummins, hood stack, like, typical, fuck yes, let's get rowdy. Oh, what the fuck happened here? Oh, he sent a video. Is that a video? Yeah, it's a video. He sent a video. He sent a video. <laughs> fuck yeah, whipping shitties. Fucking person video is goddamn fucking retarded though. Jesus Christ. Got like maybe two seconds where you can see the truck and the rest is just like mirror, windshield, side window moving around like typical like high school fight recorder. Jesus. Alright. So I like it. I, I don't like squat, but besides that I like it. So hmm. Let's see, he just wanted to rate, he didn't want to roast, so I can't talk shit. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. I would give it a 10 out of 10 if if it had a Cummins and it was leveled and wide. But, like, it's a 1500, so I understand I'm fucking poor. I can't afford a diesel truck, so, like, I get it. I fucking get it. But, 9 out of 10. I like the truck. I like the all black. Like, you don't have, like, random fucking bits of chrome and shit in there like a lot of people do that don't understand the, like, if you're no murdered out, you gotta do it all murdered out. So I like it. Looks clean. You follow the dude on Instagram. Add him on sna on a Snapchat. Mm, this truck is fucking nice. 04.5 LLY crew cab 4x4 7 inch BDS lift 22 by 14 negative 76 hostile alphas on 37, 13, 50, 22 mud tires. Tuned and deleted 
four inch exhaust, axle dump, everything LED interior and exterior. Ranch hand bumper with LED bar and four LED pods. Rear bumper coming soon. This is Danielle Rodriguez. God, this thing, ooh. You know, just, just putting it out there. Just putting it out there. Everyone's like, oh, move pace him. They don't. I just fucking love their bumpers, like to be completely honest. Move bumper on the front of that. Game changer. HD hood, HD drill, move bumper, some chrome headlights to match them chrome wheels and mirror caps. Set. Right there. Game changer. Move, front and rear. HD hood, HD drill, headlights, game over. Fucking mic drop, sprite drop, whatever you want to fucking call it. Game changer. Right there. Right fucking there. Oh, and looks like you need some taillights. So that might be a thing too. Hey, but you work with it. And, and, it's a diesel. So, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. The hood, the grill, the headlights, the bumpers we talked about. You guys can use the move link down in the description. It's down there. You can use that to buy a bumper to save some money. It's a win-win situation. It would look fucking sick, dude. But like, I like the truck without it. Uh, just would look even better with it. Just my opinion. Oh, and we had a second email come in from him. His Instagram is texas.smoke.barbecue. I like some fucking barbecue. And I like Texas. Never been, but... Texas, America. Clappy Pappy. So I know you fucking comment on videos. I recognize the fucking name. So I'm Clappy Pappy. Yeah, the email told me. <laughs> and this is my 2002 GMC Sierra RCSB. So regular cab, short bed. I'm not fucking illiterate, just so you guys know. It has three inch rough country spindles. Rough Country shocks and a 3 inch Moto Fab leveling kit up front. Inch drop shackles, no blocks in the back, running Catless True Duels that hit harder than a drunk stepdad. <laughs> PTSD. <laughs> Alright, so, this bitch, I, the name Clappy Pappy makes sense. Doesn't I mean this fucking shit's clapped out. Let's see. You didn't say rate or roast. I'm gonna go with both. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. This shit's fucking clapped. Oh my god. What's bad though is like the body's in good shape. It's just squatted. That's all. Just squatted. But besides that, it's a clean truck. Let's see, we've got five stars, caddies. 16s and five stars. Bad. I like it better on the five stars than I do the caddies. Hmm. Well, I mean, your shit's clapped. Your shit sitting like this. Hit the box, the, the fours. Y'all do like four, some, something to do with fours. I know the four finger thing held up. I don't know what the fuck it means, but y'all y'all do this shit and you the box, or what do y'all call that? I don't know. Y'all y'all do some different stuff, but seven, is that fair? Seven. The truck's nice. The truck's clean. It's clapped, but the body's in good shape. Seven. Take it or leave it. Pink one is right. Tell you what. You give me back the sack, and I'll give you... Three wishes. Make it five, four, three. Take it or leave it. Okay. Uh, three. You get three wishes. Carson Bridges, 2006 Chevy Silverado 1500, have a six inch rough country, three inch zone body lift, aftermarket grill, aftermarket fog light, pods, clear headlights, white LED bulbs, 24 to by 12 hostile demons on 35s no cats glass pack 
8 inch tip, window tint, new style tow mirrors, full sound system, wheel lights, rock lights, tailgate, tailgate assignment. What does that mean? Did your tailgate fail a grade? Does he need to do his homework? Tailgate assignment. I don't know what that means. Starlight headliner with a blue headliner, 10.1 touch screen, LED light strips on the inside, a light bar, LED light pods in the back bumper, rough country nerf bar steps, aftermarket tail lights, and a LED light bar strip under the tailgate. Probably missed a couple of things too. I'm 17, been building the truck since I was 14. Cold air intake, Instagram, Carson Ray Bridges, rate and roast. Dude, fuck yeah, that screen is fucking baller. Comment the link. Comment the link. I'll fucking buy it right now. Comment the fucking link now. I want it. That is fucking cool. <laughs> fuck yeah. All the pictures are like from a mile away. But at the wheel lights. Okay, that was all the pictures. Oh wait, there's a video. There's a fucking video. I gotta fucking download it. Open, open, what's in the video? Copyright, 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 copyright. Step through this, step through this, all this copyright. Oh, well, we got a fuzzy steering wheel. But shag shit on the roof. Hell yeah, brother. Hail to the yeah. So, I can't really see up close. It looks like you're on an aftermarket grill. I kind of like it. Um, light bar on the roof, tow mirrors. Closer pictures would be better, but besides that, I like the truck. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Fucking comment the fucking radio. That shit's fucking cool. Uh, 8.5 out of 10 just for the radio. Fucking extra 0.5 points. Fuck yeah, I like the radio. But uh, I can't really include much of the video you sent me because of uh, copyright reasons. You know, I made like $6 per video, so I need that $6 so I can buy another spray and like maybe a band-aid as I cut my hand. Help a boy hit, hit the like button. You guys think YouTubers make all this fucking money. You're wrong. We've got Austin Fessenden. Austin is one of my good friends. He's been a supporter of the channel since the very beginning, so shout out to you, Austin. You guys go follow his Instagram. 1998 Jeep Wrangler. It's got a 4.0 auto, 3-inch zone lift, 33-inch mile star Patagonias on 15 by 10 bullet holes, 13K rated winch, LED headlights, has the soft top. Guys, I can tell you, every one of these pictures, his Jeep is clean. Every one of them. But Austin wheels this Jeep. He doesn't do like rock crawling or any crazy shit like that. But this Jeep has been buried in mud holes in multiple different states. He actually wheels this thing. It's not just a pavement princess. Like, here his tires are dirty. There he's like backed into the lake. Like, ooh, look at me, off road boy. But no, like, he actually wheels this Jeep. Goes to all the events and everything. Like, this Jeep actually gets work put in. And he does all the work himself, which is even better. I've known Austin. He's owned a bunch of different vehicles. Can't say this Jeep is my favorite one that he's owned, but it is a very nice Jeep. And he uses it, abuses it and does all of his own work, so I respect that even more, and he's got some more stuff coming in the future for it, so if you guys wanna follow his build, check out his Instagram. I love the Jeep, nine out of 10. Super Klimple, yeah, Klimple. Super Klimple, <laughs> my name is Mike Tyson. Super simple, all black. Not a fan of the orange reflectors, but it's a Jeep thing, so you actually wheel it, I like it. On to the next. So, Jacob Jordan. Dude, that, that was like the most first name, first and last name I've ever seen. Like, you know, like people have first names, like middle names and last names. Jacob Jordan. They call you JJ. 2013 F-150 STX 4x4, 5.0, 2-inch rough country level, all LED inside and out, ranch hand brush guard, 20 by 9 fuel renegades, plus one offset. 275, 65, 20, hand cooked Dyna Pros, undercover, trifold cover, Magnaflow exhaust, F by four style headlights and taillights, tighter side steps, and sound system. 
Got the massive Fox sticker on the back window. I thought Fox died when I was in middle school. Like, in all seriousness, is that, like, still a dirt bike thing? Like, do people still do Fox? Like, I don't want to, like, shit on or anything. It's just, like, I haven't seen Fox since I was in, like, middle school, which was a while ago. I like it. I like the brush dart on the front. It's clean. I like it. It's not, like, crazy. It's not sitting on the back tire. You got the Fox on the, on the front, too, so it must still be a thing. I was letting like make you mad that like, you might ride dirt bikes. I know like Fox is a big dirt bike thing, so maybe you ride dirt bikes, and maybe that's why you just have a super simple truck just to put your dirt bike in the bed. It would make sense, and you have the cover on the bed. You probably don't put the dirt bike back there. But hey, I like the truck. Seven and a half out of ten. Super simple, nothing crazy done to it. Well taken care of. Not clapped out. I like it. Comment down below if they call you JJ Jacob Jordan. That's a cool name. Jacob Jordan. I'll remember that. AJ Barraza. Okay, so Sierra status on IG. So you guys know the outro that rolls on every video that's been rolling for like over a year now. This is the man that made it. And actually, I need a new one, to be honest. But Sierra status on IG. It's 08 Sierra on 26 by 14 with 37 by 1350 X comps. Not anymore. Nine inch mud goys with a stacked two inch level and seven inch in the rear. Jesus, that's maxed. 24 rock lights, true duels with eight inch tips, Denali grill, clears, and a whole lot of other shit that you can't see in the pits. New paint job coming soon, so no more color matching just yet or new tails. So, guys, follow this man on Instagram, follow him on TikTok. This man is always posting on TikTok, and I need I need friends like him or whatever ghost he has holding the camera, because this man always has rollers, always, and they are so fucking clean. The only thing I don't like about your truck is it's squatted. That is the only thing I don't like, but dude, your pictures are always the fucking best. You've always had high quality pictures, even back when you had the cat eye. When you found this channel, you had the two-wheel drive cat eye. I remember them days, but your pictures are always so fucking clean, dude. So, I, mm. I want to give it a 10 out of 10. I want to. I'm doing it. 10 out of 10. I fucking love it. Like, the whole, only thing I'm, like, hesitant on is the squat, and it's a gas truck, but God, dude, it is so fucking clean on the 26 by 14s 37s your pictures are high quality. Like high quality pictures just do it. High quality pictures make the biggest difference in rating trucks. If you send me some shit that looks like a fucking Nokia from 2004 took it, like, your ratings might be lower, because the trap phone ain't got the best camera. But, when you got shit like this, it makes it so much easier to rate it. But, my battery is about to die, so that is going to be it for this video, guys. We killed it. We got through, I think, like 15 trucks. I don't know, I'm not very good at, f at counting fast like that. But, we got through some trucks today. And, this is what I'm going to try and do in every video. So, this video is probably like 30, 40 minutes long. But, you guys that like the truck rating videos, you guys are going to be the ones watching them. You guys will be the ones sending your trucks in to Aaron kate's channel at gmail make sure you guys send them in send in good pictures send in your instagram whatever you want shout it out snapchat your Pornhub, OnlyFans, whatever send it in with the email i gotta, I gotta blur some titties if you guys send in some extra shit you know but in all reality guys if you want your truck rated send it into aaron kate's channel at gmail truck car jeep dirt bike, moped, whatever it is, send it in, I'll rate it. Jet ski, I don't give a shit. Send the shit in, I'm gonna rate it. Gonna be on video. These videos are gonna start being like 30 to 40 minutes long. My battery's flashing, it's gonna die. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Stay tuned, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.